Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dado's Disclosure. Haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, for all you new people, the Disclosure videos are more informal kind of opinion videos that I have. And in this video, I want to talk about melee weapons in Destiny. Now, we don't exactly know what the situation is with melee weapons yet, other than all Guardians will have some sort of basic melee attack like in most other shooters. Call of Duty has the knife, Battlefield's got the knife, Titanfall's got the kick, which... If you've ever been to my streams, you know I hate an incredible amount. Yay for kicking! Now, Bungie has said in the past that each class, and I believe each focus, gets their own special melee attack, but we don't know what those are just yet. The Warlock had the regular knife attack in E3, but I'm pretty sure that was just a placeholder. And then, Bungie, or rather Deej, made the comment, quote, Swords claimed from the grotto in one of the weekly updates and everyone just went nuts with theories of swords and other melee weapons being in Destiny and I was just like, damn you and your creative writing style, Deej. This slip of information was further slipped upon in another mail sack where Deej basically said in response to another question about swords, hell no, you know how mad they got at me for saying that? But I still don't take that as a confirmation. And a little while ago on Twitter, uh, you Splendid brought up the idea of the middle attack of the UI being a melee-based attack. The UI I'm referring to is this one from the PS4 sharing commercial. The Hunter's UI has a knife, and I think it's probably the throwing knife attack. And the Warlock's UI had his hand with, out with some lines, which could be some sort of melee attack if I played into his theory which isn't really a theory, it's more of like a what-if scenario. But, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to be counting melee abilities that players might get in Destiny because they will most likely have a component attached to them, like stealth or speed for the hunter, defense for the titan, or shielding for the warlock, that makes those melee attacks plausible in combat, at least for a limited duration. For this video, I'm talking straight up, Here's a hammer, you find it on the ground, equip it in a slot, and you're going on your way. My question to you all is this. Do you want melee weapons or a focus on melee greater than a simple melee attack from all classes? And if you say yes to this question and have played Halo, does the fact that you may or may not be nostalgic for Halo have any influence on your answer? And if you don't want any sort of focus on melee greater than a basic melee attack, then why? I've seen a lot of, we want melee because Halo, people around, but I haven't seen many people who don't want melee and have played Halo. Now, my background in shooters is not in Halo, it's in Call of Duty and Battlefield. Call of Duty and Battlefield, beyond their basic melee knife attack, they don't have melee weapons. And I'm not talking about throwing weapons either, I know Call of Duty had them, I'm not talking about those. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, there was a perk called Commando, which gave you basically a lunge, or what many people considered a teleport, because it happened so fast, with your knife attack, and nearly everyone thought it was overpowered or just total BS. That is my experience of melee weapons in shooters for the most part. I mean, I know there's Borderlands, but I'm not talking about Borderlands uh, for this video. Melee weapons just don't work with military shooters. I've learned that... Halo weapons, Halo melee weapons, have had this lunge in the past with the energy sword. But the main difference is that Halo is way more floaty, it has more verticality in the maps, but most importantly has a higher time to kill. That half second longer it might take to kill someone in Halo can definitely make the difference in melee weapons working and not working. The floaty movement means jumping around to dodge shots also makes a big difference. So a game like Halo has melee weapons working in some degree. Whether people think they're fair or balanced is another story, and that's one I don't exactly know. Look at Titanfall, for example. I like using the shotgun because it's very effective against the incredibly fast-paced movement style of the game, compared to a rifle which can be more difficult to aim when you're shooting someone who is jumping around like a maniac. But melee, beyond the most basic melee attack, I don't think would work because the game is so fast that evading most melee wouldn't be that difficult. And right now I'm picturing Destiny as a slower Titanfall in terms of competitive multiplayer movement because of the verticality possible with maps due to the additional vertical movement skills. Obviously it's not going to be nearly as quick because I don't think Destiny is going to have wall running. 
I'm gonna play a quick clip featuring Lars Backen on the topic of game pace compared to Halo. Would you say the multiplayer matches are faster than in Halo games, or how would you compare the speed? <sighs> Definitely faster. If we're to talk about lethality, it's certainly more lethal than Halo. When you catch a guy with his pants down, you can take him out really quickly. And that's not even including using a heavy weapon or a super um, to do that. But generally, your primary assault class weapons are going to do a little more damage than, than what we had in Halo. So we have faster time to kill times for Destiny compared to Halo. I've been told that in Halo, it takes four bursts from a burst rifle to kill someone. In fact, I actually double-checked that and looked that up in some patch notes. And it says, quote, burst rifle is now capable of killing in four bursts. So that's if you hit every shot with every burst. Compare that to a Call of Duty, which has three-shot burst rifles that have the potential of killing in one burst if all the bullets hit. The most amount of shots it takes to kill with any gun in 99% of Call of Duty is 6. The least is 2 with very specific guns at certain ranges, excluding shotguns and snipers, which obviously have one hit kill potential, with the average being around 3 to 4 shots. So I'm going to guess we're looking at a middle ground of time to kill times from Call of Duty and Halo for multiplayer. At first, I was on the side of not wanting melee weapons, and for the most part I still kind of am, but you know, I've lightened up to the idea. On the single player side of things, I've felt that it would not be great for a game if you were just able to run up to enemies and whack them if they have guns. It might be fun to some, I'm not saying it wouldn't, I, I probably would enjoy it, and that's fine, but I don't think there's much of a challenge in that. And for the record, I don't count guns that might have melee weapons attached to them, uh, like a Red Death which has a knife on the end of it should it be able to be used as a melee weapon to be true melee weapons. It's not their primary function. And I'm not saying melee weapons don't fit for any sort of lore reasons either. For me, it basically comes down to, why am I bringing a knife to a gunfight? It's not a fear of them being mechanically broken, but more of a personal preference given my past experiences. And if you can use melee weapons in the story mode for most of the story, then something is wrong difficulty-wise for me. In most shooters, there were varying difficulty levels. Lower difficulty, the enemies can't aim, they have low HP, you have high health, so sure, go ahead and melee everything to death. Higher difficulty, enemies are tougher, they shoot better, you have a shorter time to be killed. Maybe melee isn't a great idea. Destiny doesn't have difficulty settings. The difficulty of the thing you're doing solely depends on what you are doing. Raids are only very difficult because that's how they're designed. It's a very fine line that needs to be walked with melee weapons in story mode. Too easy, and melee weapons can be super efficient to the point where you don't even need guns. Too hard, and melee weapons are useless. I'm not trying to make it seem like melee weapons are an all or nothing thing though. I know melee is situational, which is what your basic melee attack would be used for. I realize I haven't discussed shotguns at all really, and they pretty much are a counter to melee weapons. But for the most part, they already act as the melee weapon in a way, just with some range. Shotguns are inherently good at CQC. If shotguns counter melee, and just in general being far away from someone with a melee weapon counters melee, can melee weapons exist in a game with fast time to kill times? Once again, I'm not talking about the act of meleeing someone, I'm talking about using melee only weapons. I think I'm getting slightly off topic there anyway, but I knew if I didn't mention shotguns at all, I was going to have a problem. So, what's your call? Do you want melee weapons or a focus on melee greater than a basic melee attack? If you've played Halo, does this influence your views? Why or why not to both questions? I'm especially looking to hear the opinions of people who haven't played Halo and do want melee weapons, and from people who have played Halo and don't want melee weapons. I'm still working on finding that GDC content. When I know, you guys will know. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.